is Dr Code. I am one of the ST6 doctors in obstetrics and gynaecology. I am here today to demonstrate to you the proper cleansing of the vagina and vulva and insertion of a catheter before cesarean section. My name is Dr Doxford Hook. I'm one of the ST5 trainees in obstetrics and gynaecology and I'm going to be assisting Dr Code today. Cleansing the vagina and vulva before caesarean section can significantly reduce the number of bacteria that are naturally occurring within the vagina and cervix. These bacteria can, during the procedure, go up through the vagina and cervix into the uterus causing endometritis and surgical site infections. Obviously we do give antibiotics at the moment to try and prevent this but we do still have some women who get these complications. A recent Cochrane review of 21 randomised control trials showed evidence that cleaning the vagina with an aseptic solution such as chlorhexidine, otherwise known as the pink stuff, um, and that Im immediately before caesarean section delivery reduces the incidence of post caesarean section endometritis um, and fewer wound infections. Proper cleansing of the periurethral area prior to catheter insertion could also help to reduce the number of catheter-associated urinary tract infections. The Health Protection Agency indicated that 6.4% of inpatients in acute care hospitals uh, have healthcare-associated infections. These included UTI at 17% and surgical site infections around 15%. By doing this video, we are hoping to standardise the approach of proper vaginal and vulval cleansing before caesarean section. So this is my sterile field um, set up with all my equipment in order to perform vaginal cleansing and catheter insertion. I like to assemble my catheter before I start, although this is my preferred technique. Here I have two swabs, one folded in this manner to clean the outside and one in a more tubular way to clean the inside of the vagina. And here I have some chlorhexidine. So you want the patient in a dorsal position, in a left lateral tilt, with her legs abducted. Do get somebody to help you to abduct her legs. I'll begin by cleaning the external genitalia using a swab. Start at the top, really firmly but gently clean this side and then again the other side flipping the swab over at the top. Once I get to the anus, I don't go back up again. I then place this swab in this receptacle here with the ramp please. I'll then take my second swab, generously soaked in chlorhexidine. I can now touch the external genitalia with my left hand because I've cleaned it. I separate the labia, generously clean the periurethral area and then advance downwards and into the vagina up towards the cervix need to bathe the cervix liberally in chlorhexidine. Go firmly but gently in a circular motion, starting at the top and working your way down to the outside. And then again, dispose of this swab. Now that we've cleaned the patient, I can now place the drape in the typical surgical fashion of clean and then drape. Have my sterile field, insert this between the patient's legs here. I will then take my instiller gel because I have already cleaned the periurethral region with the chlorhexidine. I use my left hand to part the labia once again. Now with the instiller gel, a trick a urogynecologist once taught me was, once you open the instiller gel and take the bung off, gently pull back to get a little bit of air in and then it removes that initial resistance you often find when you're inserting the instiller gel. Apart the labia here, identify the urethra, little squirt outside and then gently insert here. 
I'm only going to put a little bit in because it's a sim mum. I might normally put a bit more in a real mum. Now that I've cleaned that area and inserted the instiller gel, I'm going to take my catheter. Taking my ready assembled catheter, I'll place it on a sterile field between the patient's legs. I'll then, again using my left hand, part the labia and gently advance the catheter into the urethra. I keep passing that, so mum's got a little bit of more resistance than I think real mum would. Yeah. I'll then take hold of the catheter there, and again here, and then inflate the balloon. Now I've touched it just beyond so that it's not going to advance into the mum and gently withdraw, lift the catheter and place it between the patient's legs. Thank you for watching this video. We hope by standardising vaginal cleansing at caesarean section to reduce the rate of infections post-operatively.